All right, welcome back. So we're going to be making the tinctures. We're on the uh, second half of the decoction. So the decoction is now boiled and we are at the levels um, that I marked before. So for instance, this is the turkey tail. It was kind of a sloppy goop. And then I added about a, a quart of water and I marked it before I added the quart and the mark was right there and we are right at that mark. So that means that we have the same amount of water uh, left as we have in the alcohol and we're gonna have a 50-50 mix. So I'm gonna start off with the um, chaga here and I have these heavy duty gloves on. So these, are, these have been simmering for about five or six hours. I let them cool for about an hour, but they're still pretty darn hot. Um, you can also put it in the fridge overnight, but I'm trying to get this done in time and bottled tomorrow. Um, another thing I should point out is you don't want to bottle these right away. You really want to let them settle because, for example, take a look at this uh, lion's mane. You can see how there's like powder, I guess it's spores and, you know, just like little particles that went through the, um, the sieve here, the, uh, the bag. So you want to let it settle for a day and then rack off whatever sediments are at the bottom. And by rack off, I mean like pour or preferably siphon off with a small siphon and that'll leave the hard sediments at the bottom. So I'm going to get all this out of here. Let me just pour it in there. There we go. And I'm just using a uh, candy scooper. Make sure your gloves are cleaned, and obviously the bowl is cleaned. And then you're just going to squeeze out the decoction. And then with this, we're shooting for the same target. So what was it? This is a reishi. We're shooting for a pint. And if you have a little bit too much, um, the best thing you could do is boil it down. But if you're you're in a pinch, um, just don't use don't use um, the full amount. You're still going to get plenty of, of medicinal qualities out of it from the alcohol extraction and at least at least whatever you did get from the decoction. So from there, you get a clean mason jar. I went over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to match it. So here's the reishi. Okay. Here's the reishi. Here's the decoction that we're going to be putting in there. So we're shooting for 50-50. Looks like we're right on target. A little bit over. So you can see we're, we have a little bit more of the decoction than the alcohol. So we'll just set that aside. I'll, I'll drink that with my coffee or something before my coffee tomorrow. So now we got 50-50. And now we can blend it. So that we know that the alcohol is still 20% or 40% in this. So now by blending it 50-50, we're at 20%. And that should be enough for shelf stable. All right. Cap that off. And that one's done. So now uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them. And then I'm going to do, do bottling. So that'll be the next step. So stay tuned.